Okay, let's have a look at how we might tackle this one layer back drawing right here. Studying it, before we open our AutoCAD file, um, one thing we notice is that all these thicknesses are all the same. It's three quarters of an inch thick everywhere. So that's something to notice. Then there's a big old circular thing in the middle. And I don't know about you, but I think that's where I'm going to start. So I'm going to open my title block. And I've saved my class title block to my computer. So I'll open that. And I will go down to the Model Space tab and go to Model Space. And let's make sure that I do have the object layer current. Yep, I do. OK, now you might have a totally different way of starting this drawing. What I think I'm going to try is I'm going to make two big old lines at right angles to each other starting at the center of where that circle is going to be. Ha! And I think I will turn ortho on for the purpose of making that. Ortho on. And now I will get a line. I could come up here and click this command. Or I could type L for line. And I don't know where I am or how far I'm zoomed in, so I'm just going to draw something. I'll just make a, a line there, and I'll make another line here. Who knows how big those are? I don't know. And those are going to be the center lines, the starting point for my circular thing. So now I'll get a circle command. I type C for circle, but you might like to push that button. Specify center point. OK. And I still have my good O snaps turned on. So I'm going to put the center of my circle at that intersection. See that O snap signal? Center. Now, watch out here. You have to read the directions. AutoCAD is talking to you. What is it saying? Specify radius. Well, I want to draw that two and a half diameter circle. Uh, two and a half is not the radius. Two and a half is the diameter. So I think I should either click this diameter word or type D for diameter. There, now it's switched to diameter. Now I can enter 2.5 for the diameter. There is my circle. Now I'm going to just offset like crazy. <laughs> uh, first of all, I see here that it is 3.88 from this vertical center line over to the edge of my ear there. So I'm going to go O for offset, specify offset distance, 3.88 from here to here. All right. And I am going to start making, oh yeah, uh, what else do I want to do? Then 7.13 from that line I just made out to the nose. So offset again, 7.13 from that back edge out to the nose. OK, now I know where I am. Now, the handy thing here in the O snaps will be this O snap called quadrant. Make sure you have that one turned on, because it's handy when you're drawing things connected to circles. OK, so I'm going to get a line, and I'm going to draw from the top quadrant of that circle thing 
over perpendicular to my nose there. And then from the bottom quadrant, see that quadrant O snap? Over to my the heel of my thing. I'll do one more offset. I will make the the heel thing 3.5 high. So I'll go offset 3.5. Select object, click, select side, click. Okie dokie. Now I'm ready to offset a whole bunch of three quarter inch thick thingies. Watch this. This will be cool. Okay. Uh, I'll get my offset command, or O for offset. Specify distance, 0.75. And what have I got that's three quarters of an inch? Well, this heel thing, this bottom surface, this top surface, there. Now, I'm going to make a little circle inside here from there to there. Is that there? Oh, that's not the right size. Uh, that little circle is one and a quarter diameter, so that's a different size. Circle. There is my center. Diameter will be 1.25. Okay, there's my circle. See, it doesn't line up with my three-quarter offset lines. Okay, now I can start trimming. First of all, let me just get some things cleaned up here. Um, and one thing I might want to do before I get crazy, I might want to... Um, fix my center lines. Now, one thing I... So these lines that I started with, those are my center lines, aren't they? I would like to move those onto the center line layer, and to do that, I will just select those lines by clicking and in the layer drop down list, I will select the center layer. Boom, they are moved to the center layer. But that didn't change which layer is current. I'm still drawing on the object layer. I just moved those lines. Now, uh, what I like to do for trimming up center lines is just make temporarily make a, a circle that's bigger and do a trim command. I'll type TR for trim. Now instead of selecting all, I'm just going to select this one object for my cutter. I'm going to select this temporary circle I made for my cutter. Enter. And now I'm going to select the object to trim. One, two, three, four. And now I will erase my temporary circle. There! Now I've got a good-looking center line. Okay, now I can do some more trimming. TR for trim, or click the scissors. This time I'll just hit Enter to select all. And I like to use the right crossing window to select things. Click somewhere to the right of the lines, let go of the mouse button, drag your window over and click somewhere else, and anything that crosses that window gets selected. And now I will do a right crossing window underneath here. Click, drag, click. OK, looking good. Now I'll keep trimming. This time I'll select all, I'll hit enter to select all again. Select, uh, select, click, click, click. Watch this. I'm going to, 
I'm going to click inside this donut here and trim out those straight lines. And now I'm going to click on the circles. AutoCAD still remembers where my cutters were. Click, click. And looky there, there's my front view. Now I can start doing our usual thing of uh, running some lines over sideways, sideways, um, lines over here, so on and so forth, and running some lines straight up so that I can make my top view. Let me say one thing about my top view when I get up here. Um, I didn't make my lines long enough. This outside edge of my round thing is going to be a visible edge in the top view. So I'm going to click on that quadrant point and go up here. I'll also have other lines, won't I? I'll have a line for my center line, and I'll have a hidden line for this quadrant point. That'll be a hidden line, though. Let me see. I'd better figure out where my top view is going to be. According to this, it's three and a quarter wide, so I will O for offset. 3.25. There, that's how wide it will be. Now, I didn't make these lines long enough, so I'm going to use, instead of trim, there's another command hiding under those scissors. The opposite of trim is extend. I'm going to click extend. And now it says select objects. It wants to know to which objects do you want to extend? What What is your boundary line? So I'm going to, I could just hit uh, enter to select all, or I could select this line up here for my boundary. And now there are the lines I want extended. Yay! Now I could do some trimming. So under my extend command, there is my scissors for my trim. Enter. And I'll click those. Starting to get cleaned up here. Now, this line here, oops, looky there, we have some stray stuff hanging around. This line here is going to be a hidden line, so I will click on that, and under the layers I will select hidden. This line here is going to be a center line. Let me just move that up here. I'm going to click on the grip at the end of this line. It turns red, which means it's a hot grip. And now I can move that line up here. And now I can select from my layers list. I will select center to turn that into a center line. What else is happening? Oh, I didn't, I need to do some more cleaning up down below, it looks like, with more trimming. Oops. Well, trim. Select objects. Something has gone horribly wrong. Oh, you know what? So here's, here's what went horribly wrong. I don't need to do trimming. This was a brand new line I drew, so I can't trim it. It stops there. And this is a brand new line I drew, so it stops there. Those are not things to be trimmed. Now up here in the top view, I should draw some holes so I know where I'm at there, and I'll just keep chugging away.